I mean, you swear. So No swear words. Make a motion to open. Make a motion that we open the meeting. I second. All favor? Aye. Stanton Licensing Board, January 8, 2018. Uh, at this time, if there's anyone here who's not on the agenda who wishes to address the board, or first up, public hearing, five o'clock transfer of liquor license, Casey's Big Dog Saloon LLC to Old Jarvis LLC. We have someone present in this matter. I'm from Casey's. I assume you're the attorney. Yes. Very okay. nice to meet you. I'm attorney Michael Alio. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Represent Old Jarvis. Okay. So who wants to get us started here? I'm happy to. So uh, Old Jarvis is an LLC uh, and they're owned by Per MGNT, uh, a separate business entity. And they're purchasing. Uh, the restaurant that now holds the liquor license purchased in, included in the application package is a purchase and sale agreement uh, and other documentation is required. I think it's fairly straightforward. Um, the restaurant's going to be managed by Christian LaChapelle. He's already done his tips training and acquired uh, liability insurance uh, and Is there a relation there between is. that person and our mayor? There's some yeah. Yep. Um, uh, and uh, your mayor has an ownership interest not uh, in her and GMT, which is disclosed in the application package as well. Um, to find the restaurant, you're obviously going to comply with all the rules and regulations. Anybody that's going to serve will have tips training. I don't think that there will be any major changes from the way it's operated now to the way it will be operated. I think it's fairly standard. Um, of course, happy to entertain any questions, but I think they're buying the real estate as well. I don't, I don't know if that was clear, but they're buying the real estate as well. Yeah. Okay, so it comes right down to it as you're buying, the, your client is buying the building the bar, the restaurant, that is Casey's Big Dog Saloon, which is, when I see that, is on Holyoke Street, I'm assuming that's what I'm thinking of? Yes. Okay. Um, and nothing really is changing about the establishment, you know, besides the owner. The ownership and the management he owned uh, in, by these LLCs and the principal of the LLCs, Christian so LaChapelle, will manage. Um, is there no owner here by any chance? The new owner's not here. Um, for a variety of reasons, but I think it's better that council only is here. Yeah. Okay. And what? When is the anticipated anticipate closing of this of this transaction? What happens in these circumstances is once the approval has been made of the transfer uh, application, which is subject obviously to both your approval and the ABC uh, to see, um, it'll be. Relatively soon after it's that. ten days ten, after ten Boston days. approves it. It was was twenty, but it's ten days, okay. which is which is perfect because, as you recall, we had one other where it was done backwards. So they're actually doing this the way it's supposed to be done. The transfer has to go through mm -hmm. under leases. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Anything in there that you see that's interesting, Kelly? Well, it doesn't look like Christian has had much experience in running a restaurant or a bar. His last job was project manager for the Center for School Crisis. Is that a requirement for the license, though, to obtain a license? Well, it's not a requirement, but we like to know that people know what they're doing. Right. <laughs> right. No, I agree. I just wondered if it was. He has extensive um, experience as a manager. He has tips training, which is the uh, alcohol training for anybody who's going to have a pouring license. Mm -hmm. He's just eminently responsible. Uh, they do plan on keeping uh, the current bartenders as well. Yeah, they'll keep the current staff to make sure 
obviously the current staff is trained, but anybody else that comes in will be trained. Let's in fact, if you look at the um, training in there. Well, we, we, can obtain a, we can obtain a copy of it, but I don't believe that that's necessary for the application packet. But that is something that um, is it, attorney can. Do you serve through there now? No. no, we sell you know snacks in the bag from a right. snack it, thing. So you mostly do like pool um, yep. leagues. We have a couple pool teams, and then people will order food and have it delivered there. There is a kitchen there. It's far from being up to code, but it's small. I would say between ten and twenty thousand dollars, it could be up and running. Okay. So it is there. There's an actual gas line in there and everything. So that's good. Um, and it. it my memory serves me correct. There's a bar area, and then there's where the pool table is. Right. So expired. it's a very small building. I mean, 1,100 square feet. Experience. There is an apartment in back that's about 700 square feet as well. Okay. But the bar itself is 1,100 square feet. And your client is going to serve food, fix up the kitchen, or? Right now, the plan is to operate the business as it is currently operated. Okay. To fix it up, no doubt. But whether or not that extends to serving food, that decision will be made. Mm -hmm. Right now, the status quo is the only intention. I did want to ask for a clarification on something to the board. Um, when that, when Boston approves that, it's technically their license at that point. We're not closing on the real estate until 10 days later. I'm planning on closing for those 10 days, which I would assume I'm supposed to, because I wouldn't technically hold a license at that point. Is that correct? I believe so, yes. yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. And that was my plan. So, okay, I'm glad I'm yep. uh, on the right path with that. <coughs> I did hear a question about whether or not you have tips training. I did not bring documentation of the tips training. I probably do have it electronically, but I did go online myself to make sure that Christian had already done this training. Okay. I was able to log in and see Just that. curious. Yeah, and I think if you don't have the ability to do that directly, which you, you probably do actually uh, provide. Yeah. You can just email it. Sure. Okay. okay. This is a regular license, right? It wasn't a Nova Quota license? Or Correct. No, no. So it could go if the business closes and relocates, the license can go. Right, yeah. Correct. It's not a legislative one. That's right. Sorry, we only get to see the application when we sit down. So oh, really? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. But not really. And I apologize. I really made more copies. Would you like a copy of this? Nope, nope. I have looked at what I wanted to look at. Okay. Specifically presented um, the mayor's name and all of the surrounding details, and they laid out for me the conflict of interest policy. And as you might expect, there's a potential for conflict, of, right. you know, but there's there are guidelines that we follow. And so there's strict guidance, both statutory, regulatory, mm -hmm. and we actually got direct uh, feedback from the Commonwealth on you know the do's and don'ts. And it's very simple. As far as Nicole's involvement, can be relatively passive. Brother would be managing the business, but nonetheless, both of them will be very aware of what they have to do and how they have to do it. Do you have documentation? Um, did they send it to you by email? Yes, I do have documentation. if you could forward that, that sure. would be something I would very like that helpful in the file. In the file. Yeah, sure. yeah, and this should the city council bring this? Okay, so you say something from the Commonwealth? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah, it was always my impression that, that as the mayor of the town, the city, or any city in the Commonwealth, that you weren't supposed to be a business owner in that town. But she, I don't know that she's necessarily, she's a shareholder.
shareholder, so it doesn't mean she's a majority shareholder. She, uh, I don't think she's a majority shareholder, but she is allowed to be a business owner, even if um, she were to own the whole business, for example. Really? Yeah, she's allowed to be a business owner, hmm. but there, are, and I can even describe them to you to some degree. Uh, yeah. Have you rely on the email? No, 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 no it's, it's, it's interesting. So. But, uh, but you are allowed to be a business owner, but the key thing is that you do everything, you know, by the book. Uh, and so that means disclosing right. uh, activity, means not petitioning you all directly uh, for permission to expand or license or start, you know, mm. something other. So uh, there, there are certain uh, safeguards. For example, uh, the mayor should not be here tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, her presence might create the impression of undue influence. This is the last thing that she want to create. So the Commonwealth states that um, when you are a municipal employee, like a mayor, then you should have a third party, an attorney, go before any boards that you have to go before in order to uh, request sure. whatever it might be, information. It's more separate from perhaps your deliberations tonight as mayor, you know, she can support ordinances that help her business and her other people, you know, the, Things like that. It's, it's actually once you spend the time thinking about it, it's all relatively intuitive. Um, but but those are the kind of disclosure uh, and not directly advocating for the business. So those are the key things. But as you'll see from the email that I forward, it's, it's very helpful and detailed. The more detailed it is, the more confusing it at first seems. But in the end, I, I would say it's all very intuitive. But she is allowed to own a business. Um, that doesn't pose a conflict. Her duty is to not create any conflicts. And her brother's duty too. It's on both. Which they both understand. Okay. And if you have more questions, I'm happy to answer as much as I know. Well, if you would forward some of those to, to Nicole, uh, Nicolette, that would be excellent. Anyone have any questions? Anyone from the no. public have any questions or comments? Not by any thing I have to excuse myself from speak as a private person from my past job. Okay. All right. If there's nothing else, entertain a motion. I make a motion that we approve the Transfer of the liquor license from Casey's Big Dog Selling LLC to Old Jarvis LLC. The motion? Uh, I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? God. Now we start using glasses. Thank you guys very much. So I will, um, tomorrow, I will mail that to the ABCC. Okay. And I tomorrow will forward you that email. Perfect. And if there's anything else that you ever need, don't have to ask. Okay. Yeah. That sounds great. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay safe, Jose. in like the barn like by the road no that's the goat barn it's she, oh, okay. but she's out front of the barn she gets oh, okay. to run in and out with her mom I gotta, i'm gonna be in time can i drive down there tomorrow <laughs> oh anytime okay. yeah awesome. just drive down Great. there they're in Great. around you can see them all right good thank you guys have a good night yep thank you. take care i make a motion that we approve the minutes from december 4th 2017. i'll second that all in favor aye aye, aye. one abstention ran off the here there were you right there? Was right here for that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He was? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, right. this is, yeah. no, oh no, he not. wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was not. Yeah. I think what you, uh, yeah, I think I wasn't here. No, you were not here. Yeah. Um, 
I'm not voting on it. No. Should I make a motion for well, first to continue the license update? Um, yeah, why don't we? I mean, I, I, I guess I'm surprised that she's not here. Who? I don't know if she even knew it was on the agenda. Okay. Okay. It, it was just something from him on right. a voicemail asking to be put on the agenda. And he didn't say anything specific about what? Just, just an update of what had transpired. Okay. So. Well, I'm glad to hear that he's staying, being proactive about it. Yeah. Uh, because I, I, as much of an issue that seemed to be that didn't really seem like it should have been on our plate in the first place. Um, you know, it seemed like the guy was trying to do the right thing. Yeah. So, good. so I guess if he calls again and wants to be part of the agenda, then we'll probably okay. pop up again. Good. Yes, we are. No, Naxa. Oh, uh, okay. The guy on Pleasant Street. Oh, okay, yeah. Was that Michael Bear that was there? <laughs> sort of looked we, like. We still have another um, item on the agenda if you want to go on with that. Yes, sure. Can we? Uh, next is um, discussion of board structure. Now, I brought this, I, I requested that this go on the agenda um, because, you know, I've been chair of the board now for, um, I don't know, three years, four years, or something like that. Um, and, you know, I. I just feel like it, it's appropriate that we haven't had this discussion on whether or not um, someone else would, would like to be um, the chair of, of our of our cozy little board. Um, it, it's, I, it's from my perspective, it's not a there, there's not that much more responsibility given just you kind of run the meeting, even though Nicolette kind of does all the work. Are you stay on the board? For the time being, I'm staying on the board, yes. So and I don't oppose. You don't oppose the discussion. Okay, in that case, then I'd make a motion that, uh, or I would nominate um, um, Kelly Ritchie to be the chairman of the East Hampton Licensing Board. That's my nomination, so that's being put forth as a motion. We accept it. Yes. Okay, then. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. So, uh, for motion purposes, Jason made the motion. Ray okay. seconded. Correct. Is that mm -hmm. doing it? Yes. Okay. And then all in favor? Yes. Okay. Does this mean I pick up Ray now? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I, I, I pick up Ray, and the, the way it's going to work now is that we're going to scheme and plot to sabotage. I think I have this right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now I make a motion to close the public hearing and meeting. I'll second that. Oh. Aye. 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 I'm not the chair. <laughs>